This is module five, end of module review, side two. Number four, Dot and Pat are painting the exact same rectangular flags for their family heritage project. Don has painted two fourths of his flag. Pat has painted two eighths of her flag. Who painted more? Read, write, draw. So I need to draw a picture to show Don has painted two fourths and Pat has painted two eighths. I'm going to do this by drawing two rectangles that are exactly the same size so that I can compare them. The first rectangle is going to be for Don, so I'm going to label that as two fourths. The second rectangle is going to be for Pat, so I'm going to label that as two eighths. For Don, I need to partition the rectangle into four equal parts. So I will first break it in half and then break each of those halves in half. Dawn has completed two fourths, so I will shade one fourth, two fourths. Pat has shaded, has finished two eighths, so I will break the rectangle in half, then in two fourths, then break those fourths in half to create eighths. Since Pat has done two eighths, I will shade one eighth. 2 eighths. When I look at those two pictures, I can see who has painted more. Dawn has painted more because more of the rectangle is shaded in. Also, fourths are larger than eighths. So I need to write Dawn has painted more because two-fourths is greater than two-eighths. Number five. Maria, Juan, Jacob, and Yunmi are a team. Their project is to plant a garden three feet long. A. On Monday, the team partitioned each foot of the garden into fourths. Label every fraction on the number line, including renaming the holes. So the whole numbers I see underneath are each foot of the garden. So between zero feet and one feet foot they partitioned into fourths. So I'll break that apart into fourths. Then between one foot and two feet, again they partitioned into fourths. Between two feet and three feet, they partitioned into fourths. Then I need to label every fraction. So I'm going to start with zero fourths. And I'm going to put a box around that since it's a whole number. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. Again, I'm going to put a box around that because it's a whole number. Five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths. I need to box that. It's a whole number. Nine fourths. 10 fourths, 11 fourths, 12 fourths. I need to box 12 fourths because it's a whole number. Part B. On Tuesday, the team worked on the first foot of the garden. Each student planted flowers on one fourth of the garden. What fraction of the whole garden has flowers? Use words pictures, and numbers to support your answer. So on the second day, they worked on the first foot. That is, the first foot would be from zero to one. 
they put flowers on every fourth of the garden. So I'm going to draw on the number line where they put those flowers. They put a flower on one fourth. They put a flower on two fourths. They put a flower on three fourths. And they put a flower on four fourths. If I look back at my question, it asks, what fraction of the whole garden has flowers? When I look at my picture, I see four fourths has flowers. Now, another way I can look at that is if this number line was an entire picture. I'm going to redraw that underneath and I'm going to break it into parts. So here it would be zero fourths and then I would break it apart into one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, nine fourths, ten fourths, eleven fourths, and twelve fourths. When I look at that, I can also shade in what they have completed. They've completed one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. So as a fraction, I can say still that four portions are shaded. But my denominator is changing because the picture is different. Now my denominator is 12. So I can say 4 twelfths has flowers. I know 4 twelfths has flowers because I broke the number line into a fraction strip instead of leaving it as a number line. Letter C. Be careful on letter C because letter C doesn't have anything to do with A or B. Letter C. Maria says that one-fifth is the same as two-tenths. Do you agree? Why or why not? Use words, pictures, and numbers to explain your thinking. So Maria says one-fifth equals two-tenths. You need to decide if you agree with that by drawing pictures to compare those fractions. On your own, use words, pictures, and numbers to explain if Maria is correct or not.